Android Studio Hedgehog version 2023.1 is now available for downloading on the stable channel. In this version, we've updated the IntelliJ platform to 2023.1 and added exciting new features. Improving your app's performance is top of mind for us, and we've added new features to help you get insights into your app's performance metrics. App Quality Insights now includes Android Vitals data from the Google Play Console. With Android Vitals, you can see crash insights to quickly understand and resolve them directly from the App Quality Insights window. We're also adding a new Power Profiler that helps you visualize the correlation between power consumed and the actions occurring in your app. Android Studio is optimized to help you build applications quickly and effortlessly. The Hedgehog release continues this trend with a number of new productivity features. The SDK Upgrade Assistant provides a step-by-step -step wizard flow to help you through the target SDK version upgrade. You can now upgrade projects to Android 14 faster and more efficiently. This release also includes enhancements to the new UI, such as compact mode. In addition, you can now mirror your physical device in the running device window with device mirroring. You can also run the layout inspector directly in the running device window. This embedded layout inspector organizes your UI debugging into a single tool window. We're also excited to announce a number of new features for Compose developers. Compose Preview has a new gallery mode that lets you focus on one preview at a time and conserve rendering resources. The debugger now lists the parameters of the composable and their state so you can identify what might have caused the recomposition. This version includes support for the latest annotations added by Compose Multi-Preview API, which lets you render common layout scenarios side by side while working with Compose Preview. And we're continuing to improve build speed through updates to Studio's build tools. We're adding a new macro to specify JDK path. Windows users can now minimize the impact of antivirus software on build speed, you can run your automated tests at scale on Firebase Test Lab when using Gradle managed devices. Now let's take a look at all the updates in detail. Hedgehog now integrates Android Vitals from Google Play Console into your App Quality Insights report. With Android Vitals, you can see crash reports for your app directly from Google Play without requiring any additional instrumentation to your app. You can quickly understand and resolve the cause of the crash and jump from stack trace to code all from App Quality Insights tool window. Apps which are optimized for lower power consumption lead to better battery performance and improved end user experience. The new power profiler shows power consumption on devices and segments by subsystems called power rails. This helps you visualize the correlation between power consumed and the actions occurring in your app. You can run A-B tests to compare the power consumption of different algorithms, features, or even versions of your app. The SDK Upgrade Assistant provides a step-by-step -step wizard flow to help you through target SDK version upgrade. It pulls documentation directly into the IDE, saving you time and effort. Android Studio Hedgehog adds support for upgrading projects to Android 14, API level 34. We've also added additional relevance filters so that unnecessary steps are removed. And in some cases, the upgrade assistant will pinpoint exactly where in the code changes need to be made. In the Giraffe release, we launched a new UI for the IDE. The redesigned theme aims to reduce visual complexity, provide easier access to essential features, resulting in a modern, cleaner look and feel. We've listened to your feedback, and in Hedgehog, we've added updates for compact mode, vertical and horizontal splitting, and project tabs for macOS. We're excited by this new design direction and will continue improving. To use the new UI, go to Settings, and in Appearance and Behavior, enable the new UI. You can now mirror your physical device in the running device window. When mirroring, you can execute common actions such as starting apps, and interacting with them 
rotating the screen, folding and unfolding the phone, and much more, directly from Android Studio. You now have the option to run Layout Inspector directly in the Running Device Tool window while running your app on an embedded virtual device or a mirrored physical device. This feature significantly improves performance of Layout Inspector, conserves screen real estate, helps organize your UI debugging workflow in a single tool window. In embedded mode, you can show a view hierarchy, inspect the properties of each view, navigate to code using deep inspect mode, and access other common layout inspector features. Live Edit lets you update composables in Android emulators and physical devices in near real time. Live Edit has a default shortcut for manual mode, control slash or command slash for macOS. Manual mode is helpful in situations when you want to have precise control over when updates are deployed to the running application. For more information, check out our video on Live Edit. Gallery mode is a new mode in Compose Preview that lets you focus on one preview at a time and conserve rendering resources. Use gallery mode when iterating on UI and switch to other modes, grid or list, when needing to see UI variants. When parts of your Compose UI recompose unexpectedly, it can sometimes be difficult to understand why. When setting a breakpoint on a composable function, the debugger now lists the parameters of the composable and their state so you can more easily identify what changes might have caused the recomposition. Android Studio Hedgehog includes support for the latest annotations added by the Compose Multi-Preview API. You can use them to render common layout scenarios side by side. The new annotations include preview screen sizes, preview font scales, preview light dark, and preview dynamic colors. We're adding a new macro to specify the Java home path. This reduces errors related to incompatible Gradle and product JDK versions, since there is now a single source of truth for a Gradle JDK selection. Did you know your antivirus software could be impacting your build speed? The build analyzer can now inform you when this is the case and provide you with a list of directories to exclude from active scanning. Firebase Test Lab lets you run your tests at scale on a wide range of Android devices, both physical and virtual, and with support for test sharding for accelerated execution time. Gradle managed devices can now target Firebase Test Lab devices. Now it's time for you to download this latest version and incorporate these new features into your workflow. As always, we appreciate any feedback on things you like, any bugs you discover, or any new features you'd like to see in future versions of Android Studio. Remember to like and subscribe and share it with a fellow Android developer. See you next time.